So unfortunately, the only footage I got while we were at Roebling was from in the car during actual sessions. It was just so cold and miserable. I didn't want to leave the tent. I didn't want to go out and look at other cars and take video of the races or do anything else. It was like a 20 mile an hour wind the whole time. It was in the 40s for most of the second day. The first day had some glimpses of nice weather, but really it was miserably cold. The car loved it. I actually had trouble getting temperature into the car because the first two or three laps, I'd have water temperatures of like the 150s and I'd have oil temperatures in like the 140s. And I didn't want to do anything until I got a little bit more temperature into the car. So most of the sessions that I did, the first two or three laps, I was going real easy on it, trying to build some temperature before I could get up into RPMs. But once I did, man, the car did great. It's the best weekend of driving I have ever had in this car. Nothing went wrong, nothing broke. I didn't have any issues, no difficulties. I just went out, drove the car, had a great time putting down consistent, repeatable laps. Everything was nice and easy and smooth. It felt great. So it was a nice little payoff for all the work and time and effort I put into this car to have a great trouble-free weekend. There are a few things I wanna tweak before we go to Road Atlanta in March, but really this was an amazing weekend. I am so excited to take this car to Road Atlanta. It is a very different car now than when I took it there three years ago, so I'm just super excited to get out there and go to one of the best tracks in the United States in a car that I am now confident is fully settled in. I worked out all the kinks, and now I can just enjoy driving it. If you have any questions about the car, drop them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.